Man, this takes the cake for overkill. Wait till you guys see what uh, I got two rotators out for. We got a call from PD for uh, a tractor trailer. Took down a fence into the rail yard. Uh, description came in way worse than what this is. As you can see, it's a little baby. It's a box truck. Looks to be about a 20 footer. Empty. But it's down the street from the shop and Dave and I are already here. So why not use both trucks? No, this isn't for price gouging because this guy's only getting charged for one. But it should make for some cool footage. and other agencies aren't the best uh, when it comes to commercial vehicles and descriptions a big rig to them can either mean a tractor by itself a box truck uh, a tractor trailer anything but whatever and I don't know if you can see but there's concrete right there that it's really stuck on preventing it from being winched backwards so David and I are just going to do a lift and swing. Easy as one, two, three. Let's get my throttle. My gloves are still muddy from that mixer call we did. So I got the latex out. about two in the morning right now the streets are ridiculously empty which is good for us cops said that uh, this guy was here for two and a half they gave him two and a half hours to get this out they're just going back and forth stuck on that the cement stuff up there on the front it's it's in there good two and a half hours is ridiculous generous I had them letting them keep it it hasn't really rained for the past couple hours, so I don't even know how we did that. Well, I stretch out my cables. Let's see where I'm going to get it from. I could do the axle. Let's see what it's like under here. Can't put a grab hook or my uh, frame hook so this will just rip right off. Same with this. I think I found a spot already though. Let's drop my cables now. my 10 foot synthetic super slings with my shackles and some protectors I was debating on using a single 15 footer I decided on this method I'm 
projectors believe in here. Two should be fine. Uh, let's get four. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do. If I wanted to be the one of our trucks, I could lift up this entire thing off the side solo. But you probably need the spreader bar and take too long. If you were to winch directly back, you were breaking that front axle. And we don't want to cause more damage. Like I said, it's not like we're charging for Hulk, first time ever, so. Let's take off my free school. Ready? Yep. All right. Let me just put my protectors. One should be good. One. Got it? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, right there's good. Let me know when you clear it. Not bad, huh? It's <laughs> new, man. Hey, charge these guys when we do this? Nah, we're charging for just this truck only. Yeah. We thought it was going to be a big rig. Yeah. Um, what's the PD rate, man? Something like... <laughs> I know, right? The price for stupidity. Hold it there. That shit's not drivable. At all, no. Want to go a little bit more that way? So your underlift is directly behind it. Let me straighten out my end. Right there, huh?
within like two inches of the cable section too. That's perfection. Precision. They won't turn? Yeah, it's not drivable with the... So Look, can you take that off? Yeah. Want me to bust on it? Uh, you gotta do what? Right here? This? Yeah. What is that though? It's oh, that's the, the step. step. Yeah. I can. Who's the owner? Are you the owner? Yeah. Where is it supposed to go? The step is supposed to be down No, here. bro, the truck, the whole thing. The whole thing right here on 22nd Street. Because it's not drivable. Do you have the step I have to go? I have to come check it out. I'm going to start it right here. I don't want to cut it because then they want to say, why did it get cut and they can damage. You only cut it in extreme situations. Oh, it's just pull it by the line. I do have extra lines. I do have a deck winch, Dave. Well, let's flip it around. Get your deck winch. Hey, look, I'm saying you know. All right, let me talk to the guy. <clears throat> Bro, who's paying? You were, who's gonna pay? You were the company. Uh, how much? How much? See, I, I don't even have any guys. But... Well, then the shit gets impounded. Yeah, take this. One. All right, let me get a 180 going, Dave. And of course, they have no funds for even one truck, so it's gonna go with one. They have zero funds. He said, literally, take that. Take it? Yeah. yeah. That, a lot of these trucks, especially people with like expired motor carrier permits and all that stuff, uh -huh. they're older units. It does it's not worth it, man. You could probably sell it for 1200 bucks as is. So to them the bill doesn't make sense they just say impound it and hopefully they have insurance if not then it stays at our yard and we gotta file a lien and it's a nightmare what we can do is you drop your underlift and you tuck in while i push out <laughs> i'll pull it out right now no i mean so on your because we gotta tow it you don't have no money so are, are we able to get a 180 then yeah. Yeah. You, how do you want to do it you want you want a 180 I'm gonna have to. Well, that was uneventful. Of course, this guy's uh, uninsured. Piece of junk truck. Broke into the rim. He has no funds to pay anything, so it's gotta get impounded. And sits in my yard for a whole month, taking up space, collecting fees that will not get paid. These railroad PD are incredibly chill people, man. They didn't give the dude a hard time. Normally I'd see them in cuffs. Especially because when it comes to a railroad damage or, or accidents on here, uh, they get really, really, really serious about that. So that's how you use over a million dollars worth of equipment for a $500 box truck. Kill times 10 but like I said the call came in for something big down the street Ruth and I are both here and we're not charging for both trucks so why not smash these up pretty good better the protector the cheap protector than my swing Oh, I can't wait for the idiots to see this video and take it serious and comment, I could have done that with my flatbed. I could have done that with my one-ton wrecker, overkill. 
What do you say, Dave? Toughest call we've done? Oh, <laughs> That's up there with the mixer in the house. Right. Hey, why are your slings so shiny and blue? Ah, a man of culture, I see. Okay, sir, we're good. All right, you got a car plus? Of course. I'll get you a few right now. Let me turn off my idle. Well, that cop could not have been any happier. <clears throat> they just want it done. Again, just to reiterate, because I know people like to not listen and then make stupid comments. This was a hundred percent. This was 100% overkill and I am acknowledging it. But like, Dave and I were already here. It's about a mile from the shop. And it's not like the guy's getting charged for the extra rotator. In fact, he didn't have insurance or nothing. So it's not even gonna, it's gonna stay and go to the junkyard. So why not have a little bit of fun? It's always cool to have a little bit of fun in this industry. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this short little video. Until next time, guys.